Every neonatal resuscitation provider should be prepared to perform resuscitation at every birth they attend. This video will review important pre-birth actions and preparations key to a successful resuscitation. Prior to every delivery, communicate with the OB and neonatal teams to review for any antepartum risk factors such as oligohydramnios, IUGR, or preeclampsia, or intrapartum risk factors that have developed such as the need for mother to be on magnesium, chorioamniitis, or meconium stain fluid. Remember to ask the four pre-birth questions. What is the expected gestational age? Is the amniotic fluid clear? Are there any additional risk factors? And what is the umbilical cord management plan at this birth? With this information, you can now assemble a team that's appropriate for the situation and perform a team briefing, reviewing risk factors and the plan for the delivery, and assign roles and responsibilities such as team leader and recorder. Agree as a team to use closed-loop communication. Best practices include as the sender directing your request to a specific individual using their name and eye contact, and as the receiver repeating back the request as well as reporting back when the request or the action has been completed. The length and scope of a debrief will reflect the complexity of the birth attended. A debrief is a wonderful opportunity for us to explore how our teams are functioning and look at challenges and opportunities for improvement that may impact our patient outcomes. This concludes your review of the key pre-birth actions and preparations for resuscitation. At the end of the video, you will be prompted to complete a knowledge quiz.